Good afternoon, gentlemen. Welcome back. My name is Justin Jeffers, and this is The Fine Young Gentleman. Today, we're going to relaunch an old series that I used to write about uh, a couple years ago called Questions from the Readers. You guys would email me, send me Facebook messages, Twitter messages, comment on posts, asking just about anything relating to suits and men's style. And I kind of got away from that, and I think it's a great uh, series. It's a great segment, and it's a disservice to you guys as the readers and the fans to not publicly answer and address some of your questions, especially some of the more common questions. Um, so if you guys ever have questions, please sound off in the comments below on any post, or on any video. Uh, send me a message on Instagram at FYGblog or email at Justin at The Fine Young Gentleman. Um, you know, I'd love to hear from you guys. But today's question we have is from a gentleman and it reads as follows. Maybe I'm just an old guy, but when did it become okay to wear brown shoes with gray or blue pants? That just looks wrong. And that's a great question. It's a question that I've gotten fairly frequently over the years. Uh, so let's dive a little bit more in depth into that. Um, you know, as you see here, we have two different shades of gray pants, one pair of navy pants, and six different shades of brown shoes, both calfskin and suede. Um, I have these up here to show you that you know you can match brown shoes with gray and navy trousers. Um, you know, not every shade of brown goes with every shade of gray, but Pretty much every shade of brown shoe goes with navy pants. Um, I understand, at least I believe I understand what the impetus and, and the thinking behind this gentleman's question and comment is, and that goes back to an old British rule that uh, there's no brown in town and gentlemen would only wear black shoes. And although I don't think you're ever going to be wrong wearing black shoes, um, you're leaving a lot on the table. Uh, you know, they're leaving probably 90% of combinations uh, on the table. Uh, because black is black, whereas brown, I mean, there's a ton of different shades of brown. Brown, to me, is a much more dynamic, it's a much more deep color than black, um, and I, I personally like to wear it a lot more than black. I think one thing that's important to note is uh, one of the fundamental underlying concepts of pairing brown shoes with gray trousers specifically are kind of the undertones of the brown and the undertones of the gray. Uh, as you see in these gray pants here, we have kind of a, a bluish gray tint to them, and these pants are just, you know, a, a gray. Um, there are some grays that have an orangish hue or, or an orangish uh, undertone to them. And with brown shoes, as you see, we have almost like a, a honey or chestnut brown here, a more orangey brown, a more just dark chocolate brown. These are almost like blackish browns. Um, so if you can kind of pair and match those uh, browns with the grays, you can create some really great combinations and some really dynamic, interesting looks. And, and better yet, if you can throw in texture like suede and flannel, moleskin, um, you know, heavy twill, uh, you know, bird's eye as you see here, um, it, it just elevates the look of your ensemble. And those, uh, or that, that ability to mix the different undertones and different colors and the different textures, I think is what separates, you know, just an okay dresser. Uh, from the really good dressers and and some of you guys it may take a lot of time to build up your wardrobe to the point you can do that and to build up your kind of comfort and confidence and, and knowledge of style to where you can you know elevate your level of dressing to that point but um, it's certainly possible and, you know back in the day I didn't dress too well um, but I think I'm able to uh, you know pair these different textures and pair these different uh, you know colors of brown and gray well together and it's it's light years from where I was you know eight, ten years ago with my personal style. So, you know, there's hope for everybody. Uh, one thing I would like to note about the brown shoes uh, is that they are not as formal as black shoes. You can wear black with almost any shade of gray, with almost any shade of, you know, blue pant, um, but brown is slightly less formal, in particular on the lighter end of the brown shoes. So these three shoes are less formal than these three shoes. Um, also, calf skin is more formal than suede shoes. You know, keep that in mind depending on the setting, depending on what you're dressing for. Uh, if you need to be super formal, maybe black shoes is a better option or the super dark brown shoes. To address the idea of wearing brown shoes at night, uh, I would say they're totally fine. Um, you know, Historically, maybe black is the favorite color at nighttime. Uh, that has to do with you know, the dim lighting and trying to be seductive and, and reflecting the color of the night. Um, that's all fine. Uh, but I think brown shoes are totally fine at night. I mean, if you're wearing you know, a polo shirt and like jeans or chinos, you're already in a pretty casual outfit. So, you know, how much are you really gonna dress that up by wearing a pair of black shoes? Um, and again, with a lot of the colors of, 
or the shades of blue in the blue jeans and a lot of colors of your chinos and khakis, you know, you're going to find a shade of brown that goes with uh, those pants. Um, so to the old rule of no brown in town and, and you know, wearing only black in town, again, you're not going to be uh, poorly dressed. You're not going to be out of style if you only wear black shoes. That's totally fine. But for most occasions, you're probably fine in the mid-brown to you know, the darker brown family. Uh, now, getting back to my earlier discussion of kind of the undertones and the matching of the grays and the browns, um, let's take a look on the lighter end of the spectrum. Here we have this light gray flannel trouser and, you know, these brown shoes here, which I think all three of these go very well with this trouser with this shade of gray. Um, my personal favorite is, is this brown. It's a great shoe from Allen Edmonds. It's, I think, the second or third pair of dress shoes I bought. Um, and this pair has held up so well. Um, the shade of brown is a great shade of brown. Um, you know, it goes equally well with the navy blue, um, but I just really like how it plays off of the, the, the gray of this trouser. The suede is a great complement to the flannel texture of this pant. And then we have this kind of chestnut whiskey brown here, which again has a little more red in it, but I think it goes very well with the light, br the light gray trouser. We can even bring it over a little bit to this darker ground nail head, or this darker gray nail head, and it works well. Um, as we get darker, uh, you know, these dark browns also work very well with the dark gray trouser. Um, you know, I, I prefer the suede. I think it just, uh, the matte appearance of it reflects well or, or complements well the, the bird's eye texture. And I would even wear this dark suede uh, shoe with these light gray trousers. Uh, you know, as I said earlier, as we get to the navy blue, you can wear any shade of, of brown shoe with the navy blue. You know, we have this lighter brown, and you know these darker browns and they all go with the the, the navy pant um, if you've ever traveled to italy or seen pictures of groups of italian men you'll notice that most if not all of them are wearing brown shoes it's pretty well known fact that the italian gentlemen love brown shoes i kind of ally with them on that front uh, i think that brown is much more dynamic it's it's uh, much richer and a much nicer color to wear uh, generally speaking i don't wear much black anyway so that's easy for me to say uh, Fred Astaire, uh, who is, uh, I think, without argument, one of the most well-dressed men in the history of mankind, uh, was a big fan of brown suede shoes. Uh, apparently, one of the reasons he liked the brown suede shoes was for his dancing. Uh, suede is a little more uh, flexible. It's a little easier to break in sometimes. So it totally makes sense. You know, If he's moving his feet, if he's dancing, it maybe gets a quicker step, a little easier step. Uh, and you know, it certainly uh, you know, can't blame him for that. So to really quickly answer that gentleman's question, yes, you can wear brown shoes with gray pants, you can wear brown shoes with navy pants, you can wear black shoes with gray and navy pants, you're not gonna be wrong wearing black shoes. Uh, barring the most formal of occasions, uh, you're totally fine to wear brown shoes. I just think it's important that you make sure that the brown and the grays complement each other, they match each other, that they don't clash. Um, and that just, you know, it'll take some practice. It'll take some, uh, you know, work at that, but the, none of you guys, you know, should be unable to do that with a little bit of practice. So I hope you guys found this useful. I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned something. I hope you're able to take these concepts and apply them to your personal style and to your wardrobe. But some of you guys may uh, disagree with me. Some of you guys may want to debate or have a discussion. Please find the comments below. Um, would love to hear from you guys. Would love to, to discuss with some of you guys. Uh, if you want to find me elsewhere, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at FYGblog, via email at justin at thefineunggentleman.com, on Facebook at thefineunggentleman, online at thefineunggentleman.com. So gentlemen, thank you again. I hope this helps you out. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And again, until next time, my name is Justin Jeffers.